guys welcome back to auto repair guys thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel if you guys have a gmc or chevy vehicle guys and you uh, have guys that message on the on the dash that says that the outside temperature is negative 40 or it's not showing anything guys we'll explain what can cause that now and uh, what could happen guys when that uh, when you see negative 40 on your instrument cluster on your inf uh, information screen guys for outside temperature your ac compressor may not work as well that's uh, that's a very common thing guys so hopefully guys the video will be helpful and it will, it will uh, show you guys how to fix that now quick introduction we'll guys have more than 200 videos on every car we get at the show because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can so please subscribe to the channel and like the video now if you need guys any tools or parts or anything like that check out the description of the video below we'll have the link where you can get all that and you can see where we buy our parts from so what is happening now guys uh, if you get that negative 40 it means that either the ambient air temperature sensor is not working okay or it's disconnected or the wiring harness got damaged and it could happen very easily guys and we'll explain why on chevy vehicle and uh, we'll explain guys how it affects okay your car the computer the engine computer guys on your chevy or gmc vehicle reads that ambient air temperature sensor guys and it needs all that data so it can adjust the way the engine runs for ac for cooling and all that stuff as well and if that sensor is not working sometimes guys your ac will not work sometimes even your radiator fan may stay on that sensor guys is located usually somewhere okay behind the phone bumper on a chevy or gmc vehicle most of the times with some minor exceptions of course on ours right here guys okay this is where the sensor is located but the only way to reach that sensor now is to actually remove that cover underneath remove that cover and access it from underneath and check the wiring harness or uh, replace the sensor guys if you need to buy a new one we have the link and see where we get ours from now once you fix that sensor guys everything should go back to normal in the meantime your wires may get damaged why because let's say the sensor got loose and it was dragging on the on the concrete on the on the road the wires may get uh, damaged so you may need to uh, put in wires but uh, if you notice that negative 40 guys stop immediately on, uh, at a safe place and try to fix that otherwise okay it can cost you more later and those are super easy to knock loose why because let's say you're driving through snow guys okay and you hit the bumper or you hit in the curb or something slightly that sensor can get loose especially driving through snow i've noticed it happens quite a bit so if you guys have problem like that check out the ambient air temperature sensor and it should uh, fix that guys so thank you guys for watching please subscribe to your channel for more videos and see you guys next time